Cadets, I'm sure you've already heard rumors about the fate of the cheer squad. And I'm terribly sorry to announce that these rumors are all true. The cheer squad was killed in action today. They fought the female titan. They did everything that they could. But she was stronger. Yes, even Chauncey. Good old Chauncey. However, we cannot let their deaths be in vain. They knew. They knew, going in, that they may not survive. But still, they persevered. And in the face of hopelessness, they met their demise. But they did not succumb to this hopelessness. No. With their environmental awareness, their friendship, and their teamwork, they fought valiantly until the bitter end. So, to honor their sacrifice, prepare yourselves for a pep rally. First, some of their favorite comedy routines of mine. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Excuse me, sir. Would you like your milk in a bag? No, thank you. It will just leak out. What is long, brown, and sticky? A stick. Two sausages are lying in a frying pan. One says, it's getting awfully hot in here. The other says, by the walls, a talking sausage. It seems that you're still all too depressed, too grief-stricken to laugh at my amazing jokes. So now, I have no other choice but to bring out my morale marionettes. Hoo hoo hoo! Don't be sad! Your comrades fought to the bitter end. They gave their lives so that you could live another day and be happy. The cheer squad brought joy to their comrades for years. They wanted only to bring a smile to your faces. They would be pained to see your grief now. They want you to be happy and live happy lives. Honor their sacrifice. Honor them. Honor the entire Survey Corps by smiling. Because everybody knows you're never fully dressed without a smile. Well, you heard the marionette. Smile, all of you. We may not have succeeded in protecting everyone. The right flank was massacred. The cheer squad killed. And now, I fear what may become a 
the rest of us. But look on the bright side. Aaron is still with us. Levi is still with us. Mike, our loyal dog, is still with us. For now. We can still pursue our destiny. We can still make it to Shiganshina. We can take back the world that was stolen from us. But if we spend our days grieving, then our comrades truly are better off dead. Because our grief will have consumed us. We will have fallen into the same hopelessness they faced. And we will have succumbed to it. And then, they're better off because we will have stopped fighting. We will have given up on our mission to reclaim the world that humanity is entitled to. One of the cadets brought a piece of literature to my attention. It spoke of a man and all of the lands he had annexed. All of the lands that we will rediscover and reclaim. Lands of flaming water, frozen earth, and plains of sand. The world beyond the walls is much bigger than a world we have ever imagined. And if we want to honor our fallen comrades, we must fight. We must strive for that world, that world in which we are free. We must continue to fight. Grief can wait. They are with us. They are fighting by our sides. Of course, they can't help us now. But they want us to succeed. That is why they gave their lives. And it is why some of you will give yours in the future. And everyone here knows that in the face of that hopelessness that their comrades will face when they are gone, if the Survey Corps ceases to fight, ceases to discover new lands and reclaim lost territory. Then their sacrifices are meaningless. Whether we give up today, tomorrow, or years from now, if we give up at all, their deaths mean nothing. So we need to fight. Whether they are forgotten, whether they are remembered, it is up to you. If we fight and we succeed, they will be remembered. They will be remembered as the soldiers who died so that we could live on. 
and save humanity. Now I ask of you, do you want your comrades to be remembered? Then fight. Fight another day. Survive another day. Bring a smile to someone's face. Help them to survive, to fight. And that concludes my speech. <laughs>